<sighs> hey, what's up guys? So normally we we do this super super high energy thing and it's crazy because this being season two I expected this to be a little bit more high energy and a little bit crazier um, but I'm sure you can tell by the title that we're answering all your questions and one of the questions that I've been getting a lot lately is Nick where have you been and uh, part of that is is due to just taking a break for the holidays you know for for Christmas I haven't really been putting out many vlogs I haven't really been putting out a lot of content I've really been focusing on on family but also a part of that is since December 23rd my mom has been in the hospital we the entire family came down with COVID between me my mom my dad um, me I was fine I had congestion I had a sinus headache that was about it my mom ended up getting pneumonia and so she has been in the hospital since December 23rd um, and has been at Baptist Hospital up until yesterday uh, it is now February the 10th so over a month and a half she's been in the hospital and she will continue to be there for about a month um, without getting into too much of the personal details it's it's been hard on the family uh, so we are really really been taking the time to focus on getting my mom better and, and getting her to a point where she can come home and she can be healthy and we can take care of her so thank you so much for being patient uh, i do have a lot of great content coming out soon my focus has just been on my family and, and getting my mom healthy so thank you so much for for being patient with that um if you're wondering how you can help we have started a gofundme in her honor to uh to kind of help because these medical bills are crazy i mean she's been in the hospital it'll be uh, three months by the time she comes home and so the medical bills are absolutely insane right now and so if you feel so led to to donate every little dollar helps it helps my family tremendously um i will if you're watching this on youtube look down in the description i'll make sure there's a link there if you're watching this on instagram uh check out my bio because i'll make sure i have the link there um but yeah thank you so much now back to your regularly scheduled high energy intro let's go It is so cold today. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely insane how cold it is. And so I'm over here at this house in Greensboro about to do some photos, get things taken care of. Like I said earlier, we are answering all of your questions. So we'll start with one here. But first, let's show you the house. Okay, so this is like a week later. Um, like I've even gotten my hair cut since then. So, um, apparently I forgot to answer question number one. Well, I didn't really forget. It uh, it just didn't record because I didn't hit the record button because I'm a genius. And so, um, question number one, what do I do for a living? I am a real estate agent first and foremost. That is my main source of income. That is what I do for a living. That is what I uh, associate myself as. Um, I also own and operate a digital marketing agency called Onyx Media Group, and I am co-owner of a real estate specific marketing firm called Ascend Leverage of Marketing Solutions. Uh, I coach cheerleading at UNC Charlotte, which is where I am now, and I'm going to be late for that because I'm filming this video. So if any of my athletes see this, start running because I'm not there yet. Um, hello plane. So yeah, I'm going to go to cheerleading practice. Yeah, there's more stuff. Question number two, how important is fitness to me? Before I answer that, how about some tasty B-roll?
So yeah, fitness is important to me. Um, hang on. Actually, this is really good exposure. This is incredible. So yeah, fitness is actually really important to me. I think it's vital to success. Being, being fit and being able to control your own body. Man, I'm out of shape. It's, uh, it's super important. You, like, you focus on the things that you can control. That's, the, that's my big focus for 2021, is focusing on the things that I can control and really putting that into my perspective of, I can control this, this is what's gonna happen. And if you look at all the super successful people, they have an anchor and for a lot of them it's fitness, especially if you look at like Ed Milet, Grant Cardone, these people who are highly successful. They, they anchor their day, like The Rock, for instance. He anchors his day with the gym and his fitness. Because if you can control your body, if you can control your own little atmosphere, then you can start controlling other things, which is super, super exciting. Especially whenever you reach the point where, where everything in your life is something that you can control. Man, I'm out of breath. Huh. Hopefully that was some really cool, tasty B-roll. It's the first time I'm ever doing that. How'd you guys like the drone shots? Drone's new. I'll talk to you guys soon with question number three. Yeah, question number three. All right, I don't know if you can see me right now. I mean, you can because of the lantern, but I just had a really, really cool idea. It is super, super cold. Let's see if this works. We are in the office. I'm loving these. Look at this. Look at this standing desk. Absolutely incredible. Just finished up a shoot, and now we're at the office getting some work done. Uh, all that good stuff. The the next question that I got that I'm going to answer is uh, the next question that I'm going to answer is is what am I reading right now? Like what books do I read? What books do I recommend? Um, I enjoy personal development books, so Grant Cardone, Dale Carnegie, Napoleon Hill, uh, John C. Maxwell, just uh, just for starters, there, there's tons and tons of information out there. Um, I was told one time, any bit of information that you want to learn is in a book somewhere. So the more you read, the more you learn, and the more you learn, the more you earn, which is super, super important. I think it's a, I think it's a vital skill being able to, to, to read, even if it's like an audio book and you're listening to it. Um, there, there's a saying that, that readers are leaders. And so that's kind of where I am with books. I am reading uh, Millionaire Success Habits right now by uh, Dean Graziosi. You might be able to get the book for free still. I got it for free. All I had to do was pay for shipping um, and then unsubscribe to some emails. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's what I'm reading right now. Stay tuned. Whew. Yeah. Okay. This vlog is getting long, and so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. This is not my car, in case you guys were wondering, in case you can't tell. Uh, my car decided to leak oil everywhere, like, not a fan. So that car is in the shop right now. So luckily, I have awesome parents who let me borrow their spare cars. Um, I just finished up a shoot in Fort Mill. Uh, it was really good, really nice house. I really wish they were, they were asking for video because I would have filmed that thing. It would look so crispy. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing house. Uh, if you have any marketing needs, Ascend Leverage and Marketing, we got you. Um, but yeah, this vlog's getting a little long, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Season two's got a lot of really exciting things going on, so be ready. Here we go.